Welcome to Indiana News Desk. I'm Joe Wren. The company that owns the Bloomington Herald Times and nine other newspapers in southern Indiana has sold its publishing department to Gatehouse Media. As Alex Eady reports, the transition in ownership could mean an increased focus on digital media and potential cutbacks for staff. When Bob Zaltzberg stepped up to the podium at this week's Bloomington Press Club's monthly luncheon, he knew he wouldn't be able to stick to his prepared remarks. You know, everybody makes mistakes. The, the day that I, you know, wander in the newsroom, and I've done it a couple times in my 33 years, angry about a mistake and sort of rail on somebody, always privately, it's within the next two or three days that I make some whopper of a mistake, you know? <laughs> Months prior, Zaltzberg had accepted the invitation. It timed out perfectly with his retirement as editor from the Herald Times. He would get to reminisce about the 40-plus years at the paper. But earlier in the day, the publisher of the HT, Schur's Communication, announced it was getting out of the newspaper publishing business. I have known since January 2nd. Uh, I told the staff when I, when, uh, that I was retiring on May 12th. So I'm pure and clean. It's not the kind of news that I really like having because I'm not used to keeping secrets. It's not my job. <laughs> it's not my role. Schur's Communication owns 13 publications across the state of Indiana, and that includes the 10 publications that make up the Southern Indiana Hoosier Times. But now the Herald Times will join a new publication family. Corey Bollinger is the publisher for the Hoosier Times and the vice president of Schur's Communication. He says the acquisition will benefit both Schur's and Gatehouse. They bring some tools to us, um, to the Schur's group, that's very desirable. And what I heard from Gatehouse is that they really like the markets that we serve. Gatehouse is based in New York and operates in 555 markets across 37 states. The Schur's papers will be the first papers the company has owned in Indiana. Gatehouse plans to keep Bollinger and he will be assigned to lead the papers here in Bloomington, as well as the papers in Bedford, French Lick, West Baden, Ellettsville, Clay City, Cloverdale, Martinsville, Mooresville, Spencer, Paoli, and South Bend. He'll also take over papers in Michigan, Maryland, Pennsylvania, and South Dakota. Schurz bought the HT in 1966. The company published its first paper in South Bend in 1872. Zaltzberg says he thinks Gatehouse will encourage the HT to put more focus on digital publishing and media. Everything points to a transition to more digital and uh, you know we've done it but we've been a little slow about it. I think the new company is going to be putting a lot of pressure on doing that and I don't think that's the wrong thing to do by any means. So Alex, you've been covering this story throughout the week. Can you catch us up a little bit about this big transition? Yeah, so six employees of the group will not retain their jobs when Gatehouse takes ownership from Schur's communication, which is actually supposed to happen today. Now, those affected employees were informed Wednesday that that was actually their last day. So two of the employees were with the Herald Times, uh, one with the Bedford Times Mail, two with the Spencer Evening World, and then one with Orange County Publishing. Then 11 other employees were not retained at the South Bend Tribune and publications also in, also in Michigan, South Dakota, Maryland, and Pennsylvania, which were the other Shures newspapers that were sold to Gatehouse. Okay, lots going on there. Some story that we'll probably keep uh, up on. Thank you very much, yeah. Alex. Thank you, John.